Okay, so this is a review of a new cup, sippy cup by Avent. Um, I like to try new sippy cups with my son because we just like to try out new brands. It's kind of a cheap thing to try, and he's always needing new sippy cups. I'm kind of weary of trying big boy cups yet just because I don't want the messes and the spills, even though he does use those sometimes. But this was just a cup that it said 18 months plus. I liked it because it has this um, lid on the top, and it said that this straw here... It's supposed to be easy to clean, <laughs> it says, which it is. The water goes straight through it um, when you wash it, so that's good. But that it's easy to clean and that it's a no bite. That they can't tear up the it's hard plastic. But the only problem I have with this cup, and I couldn't remember why I didn't buy many Avent cups in the past, is because they seem to have a billion parts to them. This cup, just the top of it, not counting the cup itself, there's five parts to this top section. It's just crazy. So I'm going to take it apart and show you what I mean. First of all, hang on just a second. Okay, you snap off the lid that would cover the straw. Then, bear with me, you take off the top here and you think this is one piece, but it's not. This yellow piece in the, part, in the middle pops out. So now you got three pieces. Then there's a valve on the bottom of this that pops off. <laughs> so there you've got four pieces. And then you've got this ring that goes around the top, which you don't even have to use this. You could just put this up or throw it away. But this is like, if they want to clip it to their pants or their inside their pocket. And my son thinks he's two and a half and he thinks that's really cool to do. So that's a neat feature for him. But, and then you've got the cup itself, which measures up to 10 ounces. This particular one will hold 10 ounces or 300 milliliters. There were some other versions of this cup that were smaller sizes. I think this was the biggest one I saw. But anyway, I like the cup. It's fine. Um, I don't think it's going to be my go-to cup. <laughs> Probably unless he throws a fit to use it. Because, um, I, I mean, I do like that it has its own protection here, that it covers its, um, the, lid, the straw really easily. But it's just going to be a pain in the butt to clean it and to put it back together so but anyways shortly not tonight because he hasn't used this cup yet but i'll do a review on this sassy cup this one we just bought tonight and it is a sassy grow up cup no spout no straw no spill design 18 months plus it says 360 degrees drinking and basically it only has three parts hallelujah there's a rubber part that's this orange part here it's rubber. It fits around this dark green part, which I haven't put back together because I'm waiting on it to dry. And then I don't know if you can see this, but there's little slits in the, this piece. Maybe if I hold it up to light, you can see better. Which is how the drink will flow through the cup. And then it's just a regular plastic cup, kind of. But it's got little rings around the side that kind of make it like grippy. grippy. So, but we're going to see how well, it says they may have to practice a few times before they can drink with this cup, but it's supposed to be they can drink around any edge of the rim and shouldn't have any problems with it, but it won't spill. So we're going to try that out and then we'll do a review of it as well. Okay.